Here's another one, okay? I haven't seen this at all. So Victor Wimayama addresses concerns about handling uh, the grueling NBA schedule. This is actually something that I do, I, I could see as a concern. By the way, when the heck did he do all these interviews? It's only been like a couple days. And I've seen him with like three, four different outfits. I, I don't know, when did he do this? Okay, so let, let's see what he has to say here. Um, haven't watched this at all, but this is on ABC News. This is ridiculous. He's everywhere. All right, all right, let's see. Um, and this was a concern of mine because obviously coming from the French League, like the whole point of his last season was to be in a or be on a team where he wouldn't have to play as much um and then on top of it be able to uh, uh work on his body and everything so let's see um good morning america is like five in the morning yeah that's crazy all right there have also been some who look at you and go are you ready the day in day out the grueling nba schedule they could think that because they don't they don't know my work ethic. I know how I work, how we work with my with my surroundings, with my environment. You know, I I could never have any doubt. And so when someone says bulk up, why? <laughs> what for? <laughs> you should tell others to skinny up. <laughs> there Dang. Have also Dang. Dang. Dude, he's so confident. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah, he's absolutely right. It's so strange, man. Like. People have this really weird, and I understand. I, and actually, I won't call it weird because I think it's pretty natural for us to do this, um, socialize basically to do this. Like we see appearances and we automatically assume so much. Like you look at Wimbayama and you say he's he's skinny, and then you automatically say, oh, he's fragile. Oh, he's frail. And that's not necessarily true. You can be skinny with a lot of strength. Kevin Durant has more strength than people realize, right? Like you can be skinny with strength. Just like they, they do with Jokic. Like, Jokic is, is a, a little heftier, right? And people will make the argument that he's not he he's not he's not ready or something. Like, I don't really know what they're like when he was going to the finals, actually during the playoff run, it was so many people just saying, Jokic, man, he's out of shape. Really? Jokic is out of shape? He's like one of the most in-shape players in the NBA. Easily easily but people just see appearance and they automatically assume which is it's normal to do like i said it's, it's usually normal but i wish people would challenge that a little bit more you know like internally just 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 challenge it just just challenge it skinny up is the new phrase make that a shirt clan i might i might it gotta catch on though it might um chet has a worse body type than Wimby, to be honest see chet's a little different because i think that I could be wrong, and if you guys want to correct me or somebody in the comments, because I will upload this to YouTube or whatever, you want to correct me, that's fine. Um, but I believe Chet Holmgren, uh, he can't build muscle, right? Isn't that like the issue with him? Like his frame is going to prevent him quite a bit. Yeah, his, his frame is pretty is pretty rough, and strength wise, it, it isn't there. Like I've I've watched, he he isn't as there but all i'm saying is it's just silly just to look at them and automatically assume that also we've looked at the before and afters of wimbayama wimbanyama gotta pronounce the end um we, we've seen it right we've seen it he did get more muscle just weird this is a strange argument just strange not everybody's gonna end up looking like dwight howard bro like a, a freaking bodybuilder not not everyone they you know what spurs fans i, I gotta call out spurs fans here Spurs fans did the same thing with Jalen Dern. I said I didn't want I didn't want Jalen Dern because I felt like that archetype we could get somewhere else. He's a really good player. He did he had a phenomenal rookie season. I expected him to, but I I clearly see his ceiling. That's just me. You can say I'm wrong. That's fine. But I clearly see his ceiling. And Jalen, but with Jalen Dern, it was like that was the main thing. It's like look how built he is at that age. Well, yeah, but like that's it. Like that's 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 it. that's what we're basing off because of? he he dunks, play defense, and he's muscular. Really? I mean, let's just be honest. If we're just looking at like face value, right? Um, David Robinson, super bulk, bulk up dude, right? And then you look at like Tim Duncan. He doesn't look like the most like bulked up guy, but he he's better. <laughs> the greatest power forward to ever play just silly you can't just look at the body and automatically assume will Wimby get bigger yes obviously he's 19 years old he will um 
but man that's like that's that, that seems to be the only attack on Wimby when people talk about can he survive in the NBA it is literally his his frame it, I mean I, I don't know really strange you see someone says Zion needs to skinny up like way up stop eating them deep fried baby pelican sandwiches and gumbo I thought I thought he did I thought he did get now Zion did get out of shape but he he I think he even addressed that a lot of people addressed that, that there that was kind of an issue um didn't they even have to put some in his contract that had to do with that? I, I don't know. I could be wrong. I, I think they did. Dude, that stuff with, I mean, this is a little off topic, but that stuff with Zion and um, Mariah. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. It has gotten bad. Um, I know that they suspended her account. I'm sure the NBA came in on that one. Clan, did you see Across the Spider-Verse? Of course I've seen it. It's, it's a masterpiece. I'm going to go see it again. Masterpiece. I would argue greatest Spider-Man movie ever, right behind or right in front of Spider-Man Two, Tobey Maguire, uh, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man Two, so good, so good. Take me with you. <laughs> By the way, um, someone says Zion slander, dude. We are in a great position. Like last thing, as far as we get off this topic, we're in a great position because we have Ja who's out for like what twenty-five games. Um, we have Luka Doncic who's not happy and we got Zion who's in all this drama and the Pelicans aren't happy. Uh, we're, we're in a really great position. We are in a great position and the Rockets are thinking about bringing back, uh, uh, James Harden. We, we are, <laughs> we're good y'all. 